So let's consider this, uh, weighted voting system here. Uh, we got, uh, players with weights 10, 5, 3, and 1, uh, which means we have a total of 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right, is the total weight. Total weights is 19. Uh, but we don't know what the quota is. So our first question is, what is the smallest possible value for the, for the quota? Now remember, the quota has to be at least half the total weight. Uh, so if we take 19, uh, and divide it by 2, we get 9.5. So as long as the quota is 9.5 or larger, and we don't usually use decimal quotas, uh, we always use whole number quotas, then 10 would be the smallest possible value for the quota. So what values of the quota re will result in a dictator? So remember, a dictator, uh, we get whenever the quota can be reached by any player by themselves. So in this case, with 10, 5, 3, 1, uh, now keep in mind that the smallest possible value for the quota is 10. If our quota was 10, then player 1 would be a dictator, because player 1 can reach the quota all by themselves. So certainly 10 is an answer. What about 11? Will 11 still make player 1 a dictator? No, because at this point, player 1 cannot reach the uh, quota all by themselves, and so the only value for the quota that will result in a dictator is a quota of 10. So what values of the quota result in one player having veto power? So this one is a bit trickier. So we've got 10, 5, 3, 1. In order to have veto power, then one of the players would always have to be part of, uh, a part of the, the coalition, uh, in order, you know, be part of the, the group to reach, uh, quota. So let's see, if, if our, um, quota was 10, then we already know that player 1 is a dictator, so we're not gonna concern ourselves about that case. If we had, uh, a quota of 11, then player 1 and player 2 could reach quota, player 1 and player 2, 2, 3, 3 could reach quota, player 1, player 4 could reach quota, but player 1 is essential here. Uh, player 1 has to be in the coalition in order for the, to reach quota. Uh, so in this case, 11, uh, will result in, uh, in only one player having veto power. How about 12? 12, in order to reach quota, we're still gonna need player 1 and at least one other player, so 12 is gonna work. How about 13? So now, player 1 and player 3 can reach quota, or player 1 and player, uh, 2 can reach quota. Uh, so now at 13, we still only have one player who is absolutely essential. Okay, how about at 14? At 14 now, we could either win with player 1 and player 2, or with player 1, player 3, and player 4 all together. But at this point, still, player 1 is the only essential, uh, person who has to be in the coalition for it to win. How about 15? Well, at this point, pl player 1, player 3, player 4 is no longer a winning coalition. The only way to win at this point is to have, uh, player 2 on board. So, I mean, there's lots of ways we could win, right? There's four different arrangements that all reach quota, but all of them involve both player 1 and player 2. So at this point, we have two players with veto power, and so these are the only values that result in exactly one player having veto power, but not being a dictator.